retail sector, as all of the other sectors of the economy, they are really undergoing a massive changes. And those changes are very fast. They are much faster than before in, a, in the whole Euro, uh, human, human history. So the retail sector has, of course, to face the biggest challenge, challenge so the digitalization. This is something which with we are living on a daily basis. All of us buy online. Uh, all of us make their shopping online, not in the, in the, in the real shops. And this is something where uh, uh, retail sector must, must also prepare itself, for example, from the human resources perspective, because this is changing the way they are, they are operating in the market. The other thing is, of course, or maybe two other things, because this is the, the major one, definitely. The two other things that I want to mention, mention is sustainability. This is a growing subject, very much present in Europe, but also outside. So, for example, how to deal with the single-use plastics, how to deal with the waste food. So this, this is also a, a subject where retail sector can help us as a decision makers, as a politicians, or as a legislators, uh, to really go on with those, with those proposals. And the other one is, of course, single market and the competition, European competi competition and European being competitive towards the others globally. Uh, and this is, of course, mostly on our shoulders. I mean, on the, on, the, on the politician, let's call it like this, on the governments, on the European Commission, European Parliament, to really to make uh, this much more, the single market, much more open also for the retail sector. Not only because it's important for all of the sectors, especially for the services sector, which is not really unified in the in European Union as it should be. So the retail sector can make a really enormous contribution to the political outcomes still of this commission and of course the next one. Uh, because as I've heard just a moment ago, one of four, four employees works in the retail sector in Europe, or I mean in, in the sector itself or in the connected, connected areas. So this is enormous power. And this really, this is also the place, retail is also the place, the moment when citizen people like us meet the single market. Single market is something abstract, but in retail, really, as they go to the shop, online or offline, and they want to buy something, and they may maybe see some obstacles, they see that they cannot, cannot buy some products from the other member states. This is the moment when they really see that single market does or does not work. So the, the, the political influence for, on, on, on future um, uh, commission, but also still on this one, because this I also keep repeating, this is the moment last year, maybe next six months till the European election, uh, when all of our decisions are now being discussed between the European Commission, as the one who proposed the, the, the different documents, um, the European Parliament and the Council. And this is a moment when retail voice must be also heard, because this is a very decisive moment of the conclusion of everything what we proposed during the last four years.